Hi again. Thanks for coming back to watch uh, part four of how I built my wallapini. Uh, in this video, I'm going to try to explain how and why I built the roof uh, the way that I did. First, I had to do just a ton of drawings and thinking through and research, watching videos. I needed to know how tall I wanted uh, the center to be. Uh, what angle did the angle matter for sun capture? My research showed that the angle was minimal for sun capture. What kind of roofing material was I going to use? I ended up going with a double wall polycarbonate and the most cost effective uh, size for shipping and all of that was four feet by a foot. So uh, the, the longest side of the roof had to be less than eight feet. And all that played into designing um, the roof. The next question was, uh, there are two styles of roofs. One is a ridge board and a ridge beam. The ridge board is used for roofs that are steep enough and don't need uh, support in the center. The ridge beam is used for flatter roofs that need extra support in the beam uh, because of weight considerations. So my space was small and steep enough that I went ahead with a ridge board, although um, I ended up actually leaving the supports uh, for the ridge board. I, was, I, was, I thought I was going to take those out, but I left it because I thought we might get some heavy snow and uh, better have more support than less. Here's my ridge board using two 2 by 8 by 10s spliced together. Also had to consider where the door was going to be, where I wanted the steps to be, um, all of that stuff, just drawing um, sketches over and over again. I was very fortunate to have a group of friends that helped me uh, do the roof and we got the, all the, the skeleton of the roof done in one day. It took another several months to get the polycarbonate installed and then um, with my brother's help, the door, he actually built a door for it and installed that when I wasn't, uh, when I was at work one day. Uh, huge help. It was really easy installing the polycarbonate. Um, you install these channels and then you just slide the polycarbonate into the channels. Uh, I think they're called H channels. And then on the two ends, you just um, screw those down. And you know, always drilling before you screw into polycarbonate. Again, the point of the wallapini is to have as much thermal mass hugging the wallapini to keep uh, the hot days cooler and the cold days warmer. So most people want to know how a wallapini fares in cold weather, but with summers getting hotter and hotter, I also was curious how, to see how it would do in hot weather. Uh, we got, for summer I had this, we had about a week of over 100 degree weather out. The Wallapini kept uh, the temperatures to about 5 degrees above outside temperatures. I used the same thermometer in my Wallapini and the neighbor's greenhouse and uh, the Wallapini was about 10 degrees cooler than the neighbor's greenhouses. I experimented with different weights of shade and ended up settling for a 30% shade mesh. The last thing I'd like to add is what I would have done differently is rotate the entire wallapini 90 degrees so that uh, what happened is the airflow was not in favor of the design of the wallapini. I would have wanted the air to flow naturally through the door and out the window and as it turns out, I had to install um, several fans to get circulation going because of the, the direction that I had the wallapini. But overall, if everything is, um, I think I've got the circulation going as it should now, and I'm pretty happy with this. 
It is winter now. I'm gonna show you the ventilation during the winter. So this is still the primary. It's a, uh, it operates, it opens as the air warms up inside. I put this on because as it opens, the cold air comes in and makes the window wanna shut again. So I've got this to one, protect it from the cold wind and also to enhance the sunlight uh, shining on it. So that works, uh, you know, by itself. And then during the winter, I moved the fans inside. So I've got this fan that was on this little opening here, bringing air from the inside. Now it's just circulating air inside um, the wallabini. And then I also take the fan out that's on this side and put it in here so it just circulates. It's aimed toward the, the peak of, of the inside and it circulates the warm air down. And those two little tiny, tiny little fans, um, I either turn off or on a really hot day, I'll come in and manually turn it back on. <clears throat> but that operates with that solar panel right there. In the next video, I want to talk about the self-wicking garden beds and discuss some disappointments and successes in actual food production. I'll see you then. Bye.